when those men showed up here, they were illegal badged. When they showed up here armed, they were illegally armed. When they came here and stole cows, I remember John Wayne, folks. I knew John Wayne, shook hands with him many, many times. John Wayne always talked about uh, cattle rustlers, different horse thieves, you hang. You don't take them to court, you hang. Those people that rustled those cattle ought to be hung. Now, I'm not suggesting we do that because we are law abiding citizens. We're not here to attack the government, but we are here to attack verbally and legally those leaders at the top that are indeed illegal. I encourage all of you to go with us to Washington, D.C. on May the 16th. On May the 16th, we're going to have 10 million people on the streets of Washington, D.C. And if people say, well, that's a big brag. No, we've already got more than 2,000, I mean, excuse me, more than 2 million yeah. agencies that call themselves militias and other things. But we've got 2 million people that have already said we're going to be there. We only need 8 million more. We want you to go there. Here's what we're doing from California. On May the 12th, we're going to take a train. Coast yeah. to coast. Oh, you do? The sea. The shiny sea. At, one in the, at 6 in the afternoon on May the 12th, we're going to board Amtrak train number 4, Southwest Chief. We're going to take that train all the way across America from Union Station, Los Angeles, to Union Station, Washington, D.C. We arrive on Thursday the 15th, and on the 16th, Colonel Harry Riley and Lieutenant Colonel uh, Alan Coffey are going to lead us in Washington, D.C. to demand. We're going to be issuing, we already have issued, I have personally issued to the United States Congress my list of demands and grievances and articles of impeachment. I've already delivered those to my Congress, and I would encourage you to do the same thing. It's legal and it is necessary. If you're more interested, go to the website, <coughs> oas.com, oas2014.com. Check it out and get involved. We encourage you to come to Washington, D.C. I talked to uh, Belinda Meek yesterday. She is a lady that took two million bikers to Washington, D.C., and they're committed to being there. We haven't even counted them on it. So we want you to know what's going on. Go to oas2014.com. And uh, I have the privilege to be the chaplain at large. That means I'm out in the field. That means I'm here at Camp Bundy because we're supportive of what these people are doing here, fighting an invasion by a foreign government. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm an oath keeper. Back in 1961, I stood in my underdrawers in Little Rock, Arkansas and raised my hand and swore an oath to the Constitution to defend America against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. When I got out of the Navy in 1964, it said, this is your discharge paper, but it did not discharge my oath. My oath was till death do us part. My oath was till I die, and I'm keeping my oath, and I hope you'll do that. I would encourage you to join Oath Keepers. Oath Keepers is a group of godly men and women who are joining together. Doesn't cost anything to join. Go to the website, uh, oathkeepers.org, and check us out. We'd love to have you in Oath Keepers. And uh, we'd love to have you be a part of the whole of the effort. We'd love to have you be a part. Now, any organization here, I don't care if you're a one-man organization or a many-man organization, I do two two live internet television shows five days a week. Wiley Drake. And I'm just egotistical enough.